I really thought I'd always be a teacher. Um, and then in my teaching, um, my principal actually was kind of the one who approached me and said, you know, I noticed kids are like in your classroom a lot during lunch. And it was kind of when I was questioning if I wanted to stay in education. And he's like, are you sure you don't want to think about school counseling? Because I just see that as maybe your strength um, more than what you're enjoying in the classroom. I got my counseling degree back in 95, like right after I started teaching, thinking it was something I wanted to do. Um, when this job opened up, I thought they don't open very often. If I was going to jump in, I better jump in. I still love teaching every second of the day. I love being in the classroom, but I thought it was a chance that to get into this position, and I like it here too. My undergrad was in psychology uh, at Ohio State, and so I wanted to continue in the field of kind of the counseling area. Um, I always like working with young people, um, so I thought this was just a perfect fit for that. My grandfather and my grandmother came over from Germany at the height of World War II. Um, settled in West Cleveland. My grandma still lives there to this day. And I asked myself, why, why, do I, why am I doing this? And, I, and what it comes down to is, I've tried to be the school counselor that I wish my dad and my uncle had. I think that, um, you know, counseling's ever evolving and this role of a school counselor, um, going from the traditional, what people may think about guidance counseling, you know, we say, please don't use the G word anymore. We're school counselors um, because we're comprehensive and we approach it from a three-tiered aspect. So I like to say we focus on the three A's, so it's attendance, attitude, and academics. We have so many responsibilities, it feels like. Trying to find time to get it all done is one of the biggest challenges. Finding time to do it all, you know, and do it all to the best of your ability. It's, you know, you've got to select priorities. And, you know, on the, for example, the ACT coordinator and being able to plan all the logistics behind that while having a couple students walk in with, you know, socio-academic issues, whatever it is, uh, which one's the priority? And, and that's, that's tough. That, that's challenging to give all, all aspects every day. We're working with, with kids and they're not somebody else's kids. They become our kids and an extension almost sometimes of our family and you do take that home. Um, you know, I'm a little bit lucky. Um, I'm married to another school counselor, and so he's at the uh, middle school level, not in this district. Uh, but I, I sometimes say it takes a school counselor really to know what a school counselor goes through. Trying to separate my personal life from Miss Simon's school counselor life, and knowing what I can control and what I can't control, and, and trying to be okay with the fact that we can only help the kids, you know, from seven to three here in the school building. Well, the rewarding thing is seeing an intervention stick, you know, or, you know, a student's having a, a particularly rough day and, you know, they come in here, if they're self-rating themselves as a one out of 10, 10, you know, one being horrible, and 10 being fantastic, the best that they've ever been, is having them leave as a two. Yeah. Hey, I did my, I mean, I did my job for that student. Uh, sometimes you don't know the impact you may or may not be having until years down the road because you are working with an ever-changing product, if you will. Um, but it's being able to see those light bulb moments. Or maybe today I cross one thing off of my to-do list that I actually start to finish done, you know, and have a consumable product that I can say, look, I did this today. Um, you know, those are the things that keep you going. And there's always, I think, in, in anybody, again, in education and with our field, you get a person stuck in, a, 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 a kid stuck in your head. And, you know, you, you see their face or you know their story. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to be there for that person today. You know, I think um, the kid inside of me really helps. What I mean by that is playing things like video games. You know, I don't know, I don't know what the statistic is, but I would just make it up, right? That 90% of kids probably play video games. So just talking about things that they're interested in that I so happen to be interested in too, like um, video games or um, chess, which on um, Chess Club, we, we did this for chess as well. Uh, doing things like that and being able to relate with them that way, I think Thing. There's no phony aspect of it. That's truly me, and then it fits what they do, so you, you get that connection immediately. I love being a school counselor. Every day is completely different than the one before it and the one that you're going to have the next day. And even if you can go to work with a giant to-do list, chances are that's getting thrown out the window and you're dealing with whatever's coming at you that day, which I think is pretty cool. Students have to have somebody to talk to. Most of them have somebody at home that they can talk to, but sometimes that doesn't feel comfortable or safe. It's easier to talk to somebody who's not involved in the situation or not involved at home, doesn't have that personal connection. 
So students, like, they open up a lot and tell us a lot of information, um, things that they just need to deal with and talk through. I would say 100% the students bring me to school every day because I know that no matter how much paperwork I have to do or how many programs I get to set up, I'm probably going to talk to at least one kid that day. And hopefully that one talk, although not life changing because I definitely do not expect that that's what it is, I hope that it's just that, that one person that looked at them and listened to them and was there for them for that moment. And it may be fleeting, they may walk out and not remember it. Um, or maybe they will. So, I mean, that's my goal every day. Can I just make that one small difference? Can I make somebody's life maybe just a little bit better, even if it's for the five minutes we talk? So, I mean, truly, that's my goal. What can I do that one small thing? I would say that working in you know, Lancaster High School keeps me young, I feel like, whether I look at it or not. But um, it makes me feel young because there's just so much positive energy and you know, talking with the kids and doing fun things like the pep rallies and doing the I choose and, you know, just, um, I think focusing on the positive and recognizing students for the positive things that they're doing every day would have to be my favorite part.